Now, some quick notes about these weapons is, one, I'd suggest putting a respawn timer on them, like I did with all of these weapons. Two, if it is a laser beam cannon, like the fire stuff I did here, the Wonder Waff, the Paralyzer, or uh, this weapon here, the landing stuff I made, a respawn timer is a must, because otherwise, you can't have unlimited ammo or a cooldown system. AG, please, can we please have a cooldown system on the custom weapons, or not custom weapons, on the laser beam cannon? That would be really all helpful. Um, that's one thing. The other one is, um, so weapons such as the, let me give an example real quick. Weapons such as the laser guns. So every laser guns um, that have a reload mechanic. So all of these, when you scale them down, and that is uh, currently a thing. I don't know if it's going to be patched. All right, sorry guys, I'm back. Uh, I have a phone call from my mom. Uh, so, as I was saying, if you scale down these weapons, sadly enough, you can't, you can't reload them pretty much the old fashioned way. So only example with the laser pistol would be flip reloading. Same for a flintlock. So every reloadable weapons, you can't reload them when they're scaled down, which is really unfortunate. Same for this, see? It only does the little click thing, but when you shoot and reload, you can. And you can't flip, flip, uh, flip reload it either, so it just dies out. Same for the laser railgun. Shoot. Can't reload. Is your shotgun. I originally, originally wanted to make the ice staff shoot out that kind of particle, but Hey, you can't reload it yet, so that's a sad thing. Uh, so just a quick warning, if you use a laser pistol or flint lock, you'll have to flip reload them. Uh, so either sideways or back flip or front flip if you're, if you're able to do it. And laser beam cannon has to have a respawn timer, otherwise you won't be able to do it. Another quick thing is if you use a laser launcher, the handle sort of way, see where my hand is? My hand is right here, okay? It's right here. But the gun is here. So you'll have to put it at the back of the weapon as much as you can. And a little bit higher. I couldn't do it because it's, you know, a staff. But if you put it a little bit higher, you'll be able to hold it normally. If not, you'll hold it, like, down there. Uh, like I'm doing. I'm just flipping my controller right now. It's right here where my other hand is. Oh. And another thing is, if you're on screen mode player, and you have a small beam cannon that's like this, or a laser launcher, you won't be able to use it. It's just gonna damage you. So that's another fair warning I'm giving you guys. Wow, they actually respawned. It has bullets now, we. Uh, another big question my, that people were asking me in this, uh, for this room is, hey, Pack-A-Punch, are you gonna make it working uh, sometime? Yes, I will. Uh, not now but later down the line. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Um, same for like Hansel's bow, the tiny bow is right here. Uh, and then you can just, where the black box is, is basically my reference point where you just go ahead and do like this. Uh, I hope this guide was helpful for you guys to make custom weapons. Uh, I hope you guys have really good fun making these. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys